So you have an idea for an app. That's great. Let's break down some of the things that you'll need to consider in order to turn that idea into a real world application. The apps and platforms we dream up are usually ideas about data and interfaces. What do I mean by that? Let's imagine that your idea is to make a subscription service for educational content, a marketplace for freelancers, or even a mobile app for budgets and savings. What you're probably imagining is, I want some data to be displayed in an interface that looks something like this. What you're imagining there is what we call the front end. Whether your app is going to be on mobile, web, a smartwatch, or all of the above, the application interface that your users will interact with is the front end. And frankly, you need a lot of flexibility to build your front end however you want to, since the design, branding, and overall feel can make or break your user's experience and the value they perceive to get from the product. Now, if I asked you about your pricing strategy, the data to be collected from users, branding, and UX UI design, I'd imagine that you'd have some pretty strong opinions. However, what if I asked you whether you wanted to use GraphQL or REST as your API technology, Postgres or MySQL as the database engine, or which design pattern you prefer to authorize users' roles and permissions on the server side? My guess is that you'd have less of an opinion and more of a wish, which would be, I'm not sure, I just want it to work. Unlike the front end, the back end can be summed up as everything behind the scenes that actually powers your application. Think of it as the car engine under the hood or the plumbing and wiring that every home requires. These resources are necessary to make an application work, though non-unique and undifferentiating to an end product. With that in mind, it's important to realize that these backend resources are what engineering teams spend almost 80% of their time and budgets building and maintaining. And more often than not, the technology choices engineers make are not guided by what would be most resource efficient for the business, but instead what they themselves are most familiar with or excited about learning on the job. All this gives a lot of context to one simple question. Why 8Base? Well, 8Base is a backend as a service, meaning that we offer all of those backend resources your application needs as an API first service, so you don't have to spend your time and money reinventing or assembling the wheel. The 8Base platform, which is built on top of AWS, gives you the most solid foundation for an application to be built on top of, alleviating the majority of backend development responsibilities so that you and your team's focus can purely be on data, custom business logic, and the front end. As a result, several or more months can be shaved off of your software development lifecycle, along with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, in ongoing costs that usually go to paying large teams to maintain, fix, and even rewrite undifferentiated systems. Put simply, by using 8Base, you get a professional-grade backend that enables application development to happen significantly faster while using smaller teams and less money. Equally as important, that backend has been architected to grow automatically with your business, from one user to millions, without missing a beat.